Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and this time we are looking at the Takamura VG10 Najiji Petty 150mm knife. This line of knives has a coarse steel of VG10 full stainless steel. It's a very common steel used in lots of knives, but they do a good job on their heat treat with this uh, knife from this company. And uh, heat treats about 61 Rockwell on that coarse steel. The construction is a stainless uh, softer stainless steel cladding over the top of that VG10 on each side for a three-layer sandwich. And it's labeled Nashiji, which normally means a pear skin type finish, which is a mottled finish, but this is really kind of a hammered finish, which is a very interesting look to it. It's real attractive, something different from a lot of knives you see. And we'll get a close-up look at that in a second. The weight on this is nice and light, 77 grams, 2.7 ounces, blade length, 150 millimeter and about 5.9 inches. Overall length about uh, 10.4 inches. These are thin blades. Takamira's blades are usually thin and these are about one and a half millimeters uh, at the back of the knife coming out of the handle. I mean pretty much hold that same thickness until you hit the grind of the knife and it thins out real nice at the tip. These things are ground very very nicely. The blade height is 29.1 on this so these are shorter style 150 petties, a little bit more in the utility style range and uh, the handle is a black pack of wood, which is a stabilized wood handle with a cool, just good fit and finish. And we'll get a look. The, the tang doesn't go all the way around. like It's not a complete full tang. And so the bottom of the handle is wood and not all the way through. You'll see the tang stops at the end. Uh, that does lighten up the handle, which helps the balance and the overall nimbleness of the knife. So let's take a close-up look at this blade. So here is uh, the maker. You've got some uh, stamped and chiseled kanji on there. And you've got the dimples from the hammer marks. You can clearly see where the grind of the blade starts. And you can see the cladding layer emerge or merge with the core layer. So this is an all stainless blade, but it's a three layer sandwich construction. It's a very attractive blade. You can feel the grind go down towards the edge and these thin out really nice at the edge. These come quite sharp out of the box normally and this is no exception. I'll give it a good solid 6 out of 10. Fit and finish on these is excellent. Uh, these really have just about like a big box store Japanese knife style finish on them with much more character and interest uh, than a lot of those brands in my opinion. And these hammer marks are really cool. So this is, these are great blades. Um, Let's back out a little bit here. Fit and finish is real nice on the spine, the choil, everywhere. The balance point, it's a small knife uh, blade, so it's not going to be way up there, but the balance point's right about there. And again, that lighter handle aids that balance point. Let's take a look at it on the cutting board. This knife's not super oriented to cutting board use because it's not very tall, but the handle is slim, which helps a little bit with clearance. You'd have to kind of modify your grip a little bit, but Here's what it does look like on a cutting board if you wish to do some of that with it. And it goes through product really well. It's not quite as thin as their Migaki R2 series, but it's close and uh, it's just a beautifully made knife. So super smooth on the curve there, a little bit of a flat towards the heel. Just And I can get eh, about right there as far as height goes before I start hitting the tip on the cutting board. So. These are just a, a interesting, nice looking, good steel. It's a good implementation of VG10 and just a solid offering. Nice fit and finish. Excellent out of the box edges normally. So there you have the Takamura VG10 Nashiji Petty 150mm knife.